but I'm just going to mix the, some basic colors, just the essential ones that I need. And then when I paint it, I'm going to mix all kinds of colors and play with the color on the canvas. And you'll see that. But let me start off and point out the color groups that I'm going to mix. I'm going to pick up these, these I look like grayish green colors in here, these very muted colors in here. So I have to kill the green by adding red, but I'm going to throw some more yellow into it as well to keep the, get the yellow intensity up a little bit. Now let's see, still too, way too orangey, so it needs blue. As I fill in these colors, I'm very careful not to start blending colors into each other, where I end up getting mud. And sometimes by filling in this blank canvas like this, you end up with some really nice abstract shapes that are not as contrived as they would be if you were sitting there and deliberately trying to paint green grass, so to speak. Okay, so now we're going to get into this lighter color, kind of a creamy green. I think it, this is probably pretty close. Um, I don't want to get too light, but that's pretty close. So when I look at it up close on my canvas, it looks horrible to me. It doesn't look anything like grass, but I don't care. I just am looking at that pattern over there saying there's kind of a dark area on the bottom and then there's this sort of greenish smudges above it. I'm thinking about it like colors and shapes and paint and not about, about it like grass. Doesn't matter if my mind doesn't make any sense. And the amazing thing is that there's actually very little work, like, like when I painted the flowers, there's very little work left after you just kind of get all the right colors in their place and you don't blend into the other, you don't go and ruin these colors by sitting there and playing with the brush or, or something. Just lay it down, forget about it. And look how horrible it looks at this stage. Okay, now I'm going to sort of paint a pattern that somewhat matches the zigzaggy line that goes along the clouds. And then I'm going to come and blend into that. So I'll start with trying to make that funky pattern. And it's not even going to be anything like that, but it's going to have the same sort of character. See where the blue kind of comes in and does weird shapes. And I'm looking for the solid blue, maybe a little beyond that, and then I'll mix some of the cloud back into it. But I'm just going to sort of create that little weird zigzaggy line that I see. Just very in general. What I'm doing is I'm leaning back in my chair and I'm asking myself, what is the difference? And I'm looking at the big picture. Is mine more blended? Is, is mine more abrupt, the way it hits the clouds? Are there more wispy clouds in mine or less? How thick do, are the wispy clouds around the clouds? Do they penetrate into the blue real far or only a short amount? And then I want some pure, pure white in there somewhere. I almost never paint with pure white, but since these are big white puffy clouds, I think it deserves pure white.